Hey everybody, welcome in. I'm Katie and this is my YouTube channel about crafts. Uh, let's see, my last video that I published was on December 24th, so it has been about three weeks and um, to be honest, I, I had kind of feared losing momentum as far as like not doing the, the daily holly vlog videos every day and um, I'm determined not to let that happen. Uh, so today's video is going to be a finish and whip parade. It won't be very long. I don't have a ton yet, but um, towards the end of this video, I do want to talk about my plans and goals, crafty YouTube and in general um, for 2023. So uh, get comfy, get a drink. I've got my water and um, we're going to talk about what I worked on in 2023. I'm, I'm gonna say, or 2022 for the last year. This is just gonna be everything that I have as of today, Saturday, January 14th. So it's not gonna be, you know, there's no cutoff as, you know, like at December 31st or whatever. I'm not gonna, that's, well, frankly, I don't have enough for that. So, um, yeah, I just figured I'd do this video. I found myself planning a little bit too much and I realized I was never gonna just do it. So, I gathered all of my bags and my things and we are going to talk about crafts. In 2022, I mostly did knitting and then towards the end I did some cross stitch. Um, a little bit of diamond painting and I will try and insert some pictures somewhere. Uh, probably after um, I talk about whips towards the tail end of this video. Um, so yeah. All right, so I really did not finish much. I, I didn't really pick up momentum on crafting and really like trying to be serious and like, all right, let's actually finish something because towards it was towards the last quarter of the year, I think I just um was like, you know what, I got to get my button gear. Um, enough, enough lollygagging. So actually the first thing that I finished, I have sent it off in the mail as a Christmas present. Uh, so it is with its recipient a couple states away. And um, so I don't technically have the first thing, but I made multiples of the same thing for all my friends. I, I uh, picked one pattern to make and I have the second one here is finished. I still need to add some buttons. So the pattern is um, two by two by Tin Can Knits. This was a freebie on their Ravelry and website. You know, you can get this for free on the internet. It is a bulky weight uh, cabled cowl. That's a pretty good picture. And I will do my best to insert pictures of the finished item. So I did actually remember to do that. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. And I do have another finished one that I still have to give um, as a Christmas present. My friends and I have not seen each other since the snow day video. I saw her whatever day was snow day. i would mentioned that in my video. So we still have to get together and do our kind of holiday gift exchange, catch up, girls night, etc. So this is, the dog is spelunking, um, but she's fine. This is a finished one. I just need to get some buttons for it. And I did post pictures of this as a, as my project in the road trip we took over the new year's weekend. Um, so that was on my Instagram, I don't, but it's gone now, it was a story. Um, so yes, this is two by two from Tin Can Knits and um, I think it turned out great. This is a bulky or super bulky um, hometown from uh, Lion Brand, it's acrylic. It's basic, I didn't wanna get my friends anything that required like fussy washing and special, you know, whatever. So I thought this is acrylic and I tried to pick my friend's favorite colors. This is super bulky, it's a number six, it's super bulky. So it knits up really quickly and um, it does have buttons. I learned she teaches you how to do a buttonhole, um, which I really like. And this knits up super quickly, of course. It's a uh, super bulky weight on like, I think it's the biggest set of knitting needles that I have that came in my interchangeable set. They're a size 11s and they knit up so quickly. And um, 
for a minute there, I kind of had a block on knitting. I think I was in such a cross stitch mood that I really wasn't making progress on these presents. And then, um, you know, deadlines loom and I, I panicked, which is, you know, story of my life as a, a person trying to live with ADHD. Um, so yeah, and I'm showing these just because it's, the holiday season has come and gone at this point. I just want to talk about it and show everyone. So surprise. Okay. And then, so that's two finishes. The other one was a blue color that's all in super bulky, um, line brand hometown. And it's a nice yarn. It's, it's not a bad yarn. It's, it's perfectly adequate. It's nice and soft and, um, hopefully we'll keep my friends next warm. So, um, I have one more finish and it's a cross stitch finish and I've started, um, it's not fully finished, but the chart is complete and I absolutely love this. If you have not, are not following me on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow. I'll leave the link down below, but this is a cross stitch finish and I finished it on January 9th. I started it on, um, October 2nd during one of Miss Lay Page's uh, charity Zoom calls for the Marathon for MMIW. I started this one on one of those calls and um, I love I love joining those calls. It's for charity and we always have a good time. It's a fantastic group of people and um, I hope they do it again next year and maybe we'll get some more people to join because it'd be fantastic. It's, it supports the Coalition to Stop Violence Against Native Women. It's a good cause. It's for charity. So, um, I, ha I was happy to do it. And besides, it's a really fun time. So enough about that. This is the pattern Ear of the Rabbit from the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And I adore it. I know I talked about it in one of my Holly vlogs a little bit, but I recently finished it and I think it is perfect. I had some issues with like spacing. I think I screwed up my border apparently. Um, but I don't care. I love it. It's going up as is. I think it looks adorable. It kind of also, it reminds me a little bit with this border of like a postage stamp. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but yeah, it's adorable. I, I was born in the year of the rabbit in 1987. So I particularly wanted to do this one and I may end up doing them every year. I'm not sure. I, one of the things that I'm kind of obsessed with like cross stitch pattern wise are like calendar based things and seasonal based things so like spring summer winter fall or like months of the year don't know why but i'm obsessed with those i have a ton from the frosted pumpkin and there's a ton more i want to get um my my wish list is like a mile long and i keep adding more after watching everyone's um finish and whip parade so i am i'm just filled with enthusiasm for crafting and making stuff and actually finishing things because um for the longest time I was a monog monogamous crafter I would have one project of each thing that I did like one cross stitch one knitting um one one diamond painting and I probably will never have more than one diamond painting because that kind of stresses me out um but I kind of convinced myself that if I only ever finish work on one thing I'm only ever going to finish one thing and like if I kind of work on multiples it's more likely that I'll get more finishes um it made sense and I do think it's logical but uh I'm just I'm just filled with energy and and, and uh the need to make all this stuff um so that is actually everything I finished um I'm really glad I got that done before you, Lunar New Year that was kind of a goal of mine so I I went to the craft store today and I bought some ribbon and like trim some red and some pink that matches the colors in the pattern and um, like an aqua that's not actually um, in the pattern, but I think some aqua, it was like aqua braid. I'll have to see because the gold might kind of throw it off, but I think it kind of gives it like a retro, like mid-century modern kind of, kind of vibe. I like it. We'll see. Um, so also, I mentioned this in another video, but this is off-white 14 count Ada, and I specifically chose 14 count because this is about the size I wanted it to be finished. I've got some, I bought some red velvet ribbon that I want to hang it from, and then I think I'm going to wrap it around some cardboard to, um, keep it, keep it, keep it shape. Ooh. 
Did you see my brain shut down for a second there? And then um, this was just stitched in the uh, called for in DMC. Um, it's only six colors, I believe. Um, I have them here. Maybe. No, I don't. Right, that's okay. Let's not. Uh, oh no. That one can go away. Hold, please. And we're back. Sorry, the dog was um, getting into stuff she shouldn't be. So she's been evicted. Okay, so that is my last finish. And um, I think my goal is just to beat what I did the last year. Um, but yet not to put too much pressure on myself because this is supposed to be for fun. Um, so that is that. And do not ask to see my backs. They are... Chaos and a mess, and we aren't going to talk about that. So, that's it for finishes. Whips. Works in progress. I actually have several works in progress, and um, I'm going to talk about them in the order from oldest to newest. I have one whip that has uh, one cross stitch whip that I started in September of 2021 and I didn't work on it at all in 2022 so that is no bueno um so I will show you the cover page it's a dimensions kit um that I picked up from Joann's I do really like that store so this is vintage simplicity it was for the 90th anniversary of Simplicity Patterns. Um, it's very like the new look from the 50s. Um, I originally got this as a gift for my mom. And I think this is, I'm going to call this Pretty Ladies. I'm going to say this is my Pretty Lady pattern for right now. Because um, I want to... So yes, this is, uh, was purchased with the intention of giving it to my mom for when her new sewing room was going to be completed. And I kind of joked that it was going to be a toss up of who was going to finish first, me with the pattern or her with the remodel. And uh, I lost, I lost my mojo and, um, this guy has been languishing for a long time and I don't know why. I think I got the knitting bug really hard. And for almost a year, I was really into the knitting, and yet I didn't have any finishes until December. Um, but that is what happened. That's my uh, guess. I don't know why I never picked this up. I don't, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't explain it, but it is what it is. So this was a kit. It came with all the threads. There's actually a lot of colors and blends in this. I have three rings of bobbins and floss drops. For this pattern. Um, I, I really like this. I think this will be really pretty. I think that'll be right up my mom's alley. I'm gonna show you where I'm at. I I feel like I worked on this forever and this was right after I got back into crafting like seriously um, after having watched a bunch of YouTubers that inspired me and made me kind of remember how much I enjoyed this. So everything came with the kit, the needle, the, the Ada, white 14 karat Ada, um, I love me some Ada. So this is where I am. I've got the very beginning of her, like me. And then this dress. Um, I think also what happened was I was so tired of blue. I was so over it. I was like, I need another color, but I'm not very good with like the mapping out where to like, I really need like a reference point to start the other one. And I guess I didn't feel confident doing that. And I was tired of blue. And so away it went. Um, and there are some errors, but you will never know. No one will ever know. Um, so I'm definitely intending on picking this up and getting it finished pretty soon because this is the, and this is the biggest dress of the pattern. The rest are kind of the background. So um, hopefully I can like get over the hill and really get some momentum with this as well. Um, yes, I really enjoy this. I think uh, my mom will really enjoy this. I'll probably get it framed, uh, just a regular picture frame. I don't, I don't think I'll do like a pillow or anything. Um, and then I'm, I'm just using the flosses that came in the kit. 
and um, that is it for cross stitch. Uh, no, that's not it for cross stitch. I lied. Sorry, guys. I was gonna do this in order, but then I realized I should talk about my latest cross stitch whip. So this is. I'm calling this a whip, even though I have not put a stitch in. I I kind of am just fighting the rules to to feel like I'm included. Um, yesterday was Friday the 13th, and I'm not superstitious. I don't believe in in bad luck or black cats or you know broken mirrors or anything like that. But there is this thing going around the interwebs with the cross stitch community that I am hovering on the the perimeter of of dark 13 stitching and it's a lot of people are into the spooky um halloween patterns and halloween all year and doing spooky stitching on the 13th and the 31st of every month um and that works for me because that'll that'll kind of get me every 13th to pull this out so this is not for me you guys I thought I was so prepared. One second, please. I gotta go grab the pattern. Okay, we're back. And I grabbed the pattern. This is Tonight We Ride by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Autumn Lane. This is my first Autumn Lane. And um, this came in their Halloween box. I believe it was their first box. I know Cassandra from Autumn Lane is a big Halloween fan. Um, she loves it. And so as soon as I saw they announced it, I hit buy. I just had to have it um and I really do like the patterns there was uh a little bit of frustration with um a secret code and um me not being able to figure out like what this was like I had to enter a password and I was looking all up and down and it took me forever and I was in like people's twitch streams and knit night from knitting nurse jasmine on her discord trying to figure out what the heck this code was and we finally got it, and, and I felt stupid, but anyway, that was a whole kind of drama thing with the, the, I wasn't thrilled with that, but I'm very excited to do these patterns. They look really great. Um, so this is my first Dark 13. I'm going to start stitching on this this evening. I'm counting it. I've spoken. Um, I think it's going to be great. And the thing I kind of like about it is it's not a lot of colors. It's five different colorways. It's a ton of... 310. Um, all the threads in DMC that came in the box was provided. Everything was provided, which was fantastic. And um, it's my first time working on a smaller count Ada. I'm one of the things that I want to do this year is try different fabric types and counts and branch out into more fancy silk. There are some beautiful dyers out there. It looks so luxurious and the silk looks so shiny and pretty and all the colors. It's amazing. I can't wait. So we will see. This is going to be me dipping my toes into um, the 16 count. So I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. I want to like do nothing but cross stitch now. So I've got the bug. I've got it hard. And um, that is now officially everything I have going for cross stitch. Um, that is kitted up and a project officially. So we're going to talk about knitting and my oldest knitting whip. I'm kind of embarrassed to even say how long this has been on the needles. Um, I think I cast on in 2016. Yeah, This is a worsted weight sweater that I found on Ravelry. It's free and my phone is ringing. Sorry, honey. We will check in later. Um, I don't want to stop again. So I, this was a free pattern. I think it is still a free pattern. This is called um, Five Dollars in Paris by Anna Malachewski. I'm guessing. I'm sorry for mispronouncing. Uh, I know the the copyright on this pattern is 2013, so it is. Possible that that's, this whip is older than that. I, something about me that you may pick up on if I haven't mentioned it explicitly is a pretty bad anxiety and something about a sweater uh, just terrifies me. I don't, uh, it's, it's a top down raglan 
um, very basic construction. I chose this one specifically because tons of people have made this. Um, tons and tons of projects on Ravelry. So I knew it couldn't, um, it wasn't going to be like a poorly written pattern or too hard or anything like that. Um, so that's why I chose it. I still want to make it. I'm still going to make it. I'm going to finish it. It is worsted weight. Um, so it should knit up pretty quickly. And I kind of hit another speed bump, um, when, uh, doing the increases because it was like you had to take it off and put it on a uh, scrap yarn and try it on. And I freaked out about, well, if I screw this up and it's just, um, I'm leaving that in 2022. Uh, I want to try more ambitious projects and I want to do more ambitious techniques and, and, uh, leave that kind of fear in the past. Cause it's silly. It's just yarn. It is a lot of work, but, um, it's just yarn. So I will show you what I have so far. And, um, I'm using Karen Simply Soft in this really pretty green and gray. Green's one of my favorite colors and I think this will be super cute. It's kind of got a wider neck. Um, could maybe wear it with, um, a tank top underneath this. So this is where I am. I'm almost ready to separate for the sleeves. So this is what we got. And uh, yeah, this, yeah, this is the top. This has been so long and I was making good progress on this until I, I think I started to get the bug of like having multiple projects and um, I, it's the ADHD, it's the squirreliness. I get distracted and I start um, some things. So um, I think this will be really pretty when it's finished. I'm super excited. Um, yeah, stay tuned. I, I think this, this has been uh, languishing for far too long. No more excuses, got to finish. Okay, so that is that whip. And then my next one, and I just have these stored in little totes that I've kind of accumulated throughout the years, like shopping bags. This one is a Deadpool tote that I think I picked up from a comic book store or maybe an anime convention, something like that. Um, I couldn't sleep one night and I started scrolling Instagram and I came upon Expression Fiber Arts page and I highly recommend you follow them the the woman who owns it Shandy um her her, her Instagram is so compelling and beautiful and the color and she sells yarn but they also have patterns and this one was actually free so I thought this is perfect something simple it is called the Arden Wrap there's there's Shandy and it's a beautiful lace like rectangular wrap stole type thing with beads so I really want to make this, I really want to have this wrap. Um, but I think I did not choose a good yarn for this pattern because the yarn in the picture, um, and obviously that's, you know, lighting and styling and, and good photography on top of, you know, the good yarn that, that she sells and maybe I should buy some of her. I picked, um, this is fingering weight. Barocco Mili Fiori Light Luck. So it's got some Stellina in it, but it is a single ply. And I got as far as the Seed Stitch Border, which was absolutely a slog. <laughs> it's, it's ribbing. It's I'm not a fan of Seed Stitch or one by one ribbing. Um, this one took me quite a while. It's like 30 rows of Seed Stitch. And I realized I don't like singles. This is a single plat. It's a beautiful yarn. I love the color. It's gorgeous. Here it is all balled up. Um, it's really beautiful. I don't know if I can use this. I'm thinking I might rip this out and start with another yarn because I have some I have plenty of yarn in my stash that might work better for the stitch definition that like this lacy pattern needs. Um, I'm torn. I don't know if I should continue or not. I'm, 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 I think that's part of the reason why I haven't, uh, done any more on this. So, um, I do know I'm going to do this pattern. It's just whether or not I use this one. So 
y'all have opinions, let me know. I know there are plenty of people out there that love singles. I am not one of them. I, I think if you love singles, you must not have to tink back a lot. That is my hypothesis because I find it like mats together or maybe that's just a me thing. I don't know. So next whip I started when I was hanging out. Um, there is a Twitch streamer. I think she has a YouTube channel, but she's not super active on it. Um, Black Sheep Meat. Ariana at Black Sheep Meat was doing a bralette knit along. I think this was the first time she started knitting. So she decided to do the framework bralette from Jessie May. And Jessie May design. It's a little cropped tank top slash bralette. And um, I, uh, I got to the point of separating for the cups and doing like increases and the tricky stuff and I think I was working on this in the car on a road trip and had to stop because I was getting car sick and then I never pulled it back out again. Um, also another whip kind of got my attention. So here's where I am. This is some acrylic uh, fuzzy um, worsted weight raspberry pink yarn that I picked up from a craft store that I don't shop at anymore. And um, it's actually quite soft. I have no idea if this is gonna fit. I was having a lot of trouble with gauge. I'm hoping this stretches out a lot. I'm not quite that tiny, but it should stretch. So fingers crossed. Um, so yes, I'm about ready to separate for the cups and um, I should be in the home stretch, I'd say not much left. I um, got distracted by my next knitting whip, which is actually the last that I have to talk about today. And this one's kind of the big mama. Um, thing's already massive, and I think I'm one section. No, that's not correct. I don't. I need to check and see how many sections left I have. Um, this was. This next pattern is the annual Casapinka mystery knit along that she does in the summer. And it started on my birthday, so I had to do it. It was not an option, I had to do it. Um, so I got some birthday money and I ordered some Miss Babs and it came just in time. And um, I love it. I think she writes such fantastic knitting patterns. Um, they're always delightful. And I'm gonna try and show this whole thing in the video. So, is that? No, that's the wrong side. Let me show you the front. I've got a lot of um, lifelines hanging out and entails that need to be woven in. Um, but this is where I'm at. Let me show you. It's already huge. I think I have two more clues left. Um, and if you don't know, Casapinka, it this is my first one, so I don't know if they're all like this, but I assume so. She she has like a story, like Sharon from Security, who is a cat, if you're not aware, um, goes on an adventure and she takes down the bad guys and um kicks butt. And um I absolutely adore this yarn. This is Miss Babs Yummy 2 plot in a four skein fade and I'm obsessed. I was in a very purple mood this summer and um, once this is washed in block, it's going to be huge. I cannot wait. Uh, it'll be ready to, to wear by next winter, I think. Um, so there's that. Uh, and that is my last work in progress that I have on the needles and actually actively working on. Um, I took a break on that one to do Christmas knitting and I'm, I can't wait to get back into it. It's such a joy to work on. I'm using, I bought some new chai, chai goo noodles, chai goo, that's hard for me to say, um, needles for this project and I love them. I am a convert. I think they're fantastic. The cables don't have any memory. Um, Love them, can't speak any more highly of them. It's awesome. So um, that is it as far as currently, 
currently working on projects and so plans and goals as far as crafts and new year so i have a, a list of projects that are needs i need to start on them i absolutely have pos have positively decided that i'm going to do these um the first one is one I showed in one of my Holly vlogs. This is Namaste from Ink Circles. I need this in my life. I need this in my house and I need to get some fabric and the floss for, for all of it. I may have a few colors here and there, but I will have to go and check the list and see what, what needs to be purchased. I need to decide what kind of fabric I really want. I'm I have realized I really am more interested in having fantastic um, the floss be the feature and not necessarily like busy fabric from for me is not not my favorite I prefer the floss to be the thing that shines through um, that's not to say I won't uh, try I, I'm thinking of you know maybe getting some really wildly modeled fabric to um, do like a monochrome stitch on. So that is absolutely 100% gonna be a start. I don't know when. So it will be soon. I just I need to order the fabric and see what I need for floss. And then the rest, um, I have some patterns. I wasn't sure if I should bring them because I haven't even started them. Um, maybe I can insert some pictures instead of running into my um, closet is actually where they live to get them. Um, I have, yeah, let me, let me get them. All right. So the next patterns that are on my queue, um, that are mostly kitted up, I should have all of the flosses for all of these, I believe. I, I need to double check. I'm so unprepared y'all. Um, this one is Hedgehog House by Lindy Stitches. I adore hedgies. I love I love animals. Um, I really like hedgehogs. I think this one is precious. I have a fabric that I picked out for this long, long ago. I never started it, but this shouldn't be a very, this is a small, it's 57 by 57 stitches. I can get that done pretty quickly. I think, um, it looks like I did go and make a list of everything that I have. So I just need to get one more skein of floss. So I, I'm going to get on it. No, no more, no more waffling. Um, I, I love Lindy Stitches patterns. They're fantastic. Stephanie Webb is a genius and a hoot and I, I'm going to do more of her patterns for sure. But I particularly enjoy hedgies. So yes. And then the next one is, um, from Ink Circles. This is half the fun and I don't have fat. I might have fabric. I'm going to need to check. I, uh, these are very tentative plans, but I want to do this in pastel rainbow because I just think the hot air balloons need to be colorful because when you see them, like there's places I think out in Arizona that do hot air balloon festivals and it's so much color and um, vibrant, so vibrant. So I really um, am thinking pastel rainbow. I think I have a skein from DMC, but this, this might be one of those things where... Um, a special silk um, would really shine, would be, you know, a treat for this. So I, um, those are the patterns that I have right now that are absolute musts and then everything else. I probably will regroup halfway through the year, probably at the beginning of July and see where I'm at, check in with you guys. Um, Cause I feel like this YouTube thing is really helping keep me accountable. Um, and I, I adore Tracy Horner over at Ink Circle. She has so many patterns that I want to do. Um, there, there are so many patterns. Like I said, my wish list is a mile long and I have maybe a little overconfident that I'm going to finish all this stuff, but, um, that's okay. So, and then the other plan that I have knitting and cross stitch related is I want to do a Bella Filipina. I've decided I need to do one of those fancy ladies. Um, 
so many people have shown theirs and they're just so pretty and they have pretty dresses and um I want it. I want it. That's all there is to it. So I've picked out a pattern. It's in my wish list at one, two, three stitch. I'm going to order it soon ish. Um, it's Aquila queen of the skies. Um, it's inspired by, um, according to the blurb from Bella Filipina on the website, it's, uh, inspired by the Filipino Eagle. And so, it's beautiful. She's got uh, warm sunset colors and the fabric is uh, ombre, like a sunsetty orangey yellow ombre. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I fell in love with her. So that is the last of my, I am positive that this is going to be a thing that I make and need to do. And so, um, as far as knitting, I I want to make a purple sweater. I taught Spock. Hmm. Tripping over my words. I talked about in one of my Holly vlogs um, wanting to make a purple sweater. I have been in a purple mood, like I mentioned a few, few minutes ago, and I realized I don't have a purple sweater anymore. I had one that I had to give away because it didn't fit. So... I want to make one. I there there are some patterns. I think I'm gonna end up doing either flax from Tin Can Knits or there is one called Brick. That's a very basic pullover, um, and hopefully um, I know I have it in my Ravelry library. And um, oh bother, the boyfriend's calling. Hold please. Well, that was my boyfriend. Unfortunately, I record on my phone and I couldn't keep uh, rejecting his calls, apparently. So I felt bad, so I had to pick that up and talk to him. Um, what was I saying? Um, yes, I have decided I'm going to make a purple sweater. I want to cast on this year a purple sweater. There's a few patterns in my Ravelry. I will try and insert um, a picture. I should... Uh, this will, uh, I think it's a good thing I'm winding down, you guys. My brain is starting to fail me. Um, this will teach me some new editing, uh, skills in the software I use. So that is everything for my goals and plans for crafting everything that I have to have finish and have to finish. And, um, I really appreciate you guys hanging out and seeing what I've got and, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and or subscribing. It would really make my day. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.